Oh, that's right, I'll get this 19 here. Bring you um, my final candle deck for this format. Is, this is the deck I can run. Um, to be honest, I may be taking one card out and siding a few cards in, but this is overall meant to be a cheap deck, so I I do run one card, card D, but it probably end up being taken out because I wanted it to be a budget build that anyone could really do because majority of this is entirely common, so just try to be better. So, obviously, free card and win condition for the deck. Um, in this version, we have run free Kribo. Um, the Kribo will become later clear in the later of the explanation. So, free win Kribo, obviously, your destruction and ends turn. Obviously, you can use Kribo for its original ability, defending the turn. Be aware, but this does work under macro. Kribo does work under it. So, uh, free flute of summoning Kribo. So, your basically works either as an e teleport for a Kribo, so you can special summon one from your deck to the field, or you can add one from your deck to your hand. So, it's a quick play. So it's either a quick play rotor for a Karibo, or it's a quick play summon for a Karibo. It's a very versatile card. Uh, Fruits with Scarecrow. Obviously, discard does work under back row, so pretty good. Free one day a piece. Free the awesome. Uh, two guards arcs. Two fund of the ruler during your standby. Free reckless greed. Obviously, draw it is exponential to the deck. I try and keep my life points as high as I can in this version, so I prefer Reckless Greeds to any of else, so that's my version. I tech one a lot of darkness because you do run the Kribos, so obviously, and you can run the free those, so you can s search one if you need it, so obviously you have other things as targets. Uh, free Threatening Roar, free Wabaku, yeah, stop damage negations, you have zero gardeners, so you tribute negate damage. You're a battle faders, obviously. And I do take a rainbow life because you do have dead cards. So I personally like this. So it's my tech of the deck. I think it's more f uh, of a fluid thing. So it's one attacks. You go, okay, take the damage, gain his life points. <laughs> Quite useful. So. And one card, card D. This probably might be sided out. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we'll see. I do have it. So. Okay, side deck. Two level golem. Once again, one card to create light. Uh, probably might sub that one out. Um, one near special criminal. Two penguin soldier. Obviously, you got your swarm field to like samurais and stuff, so you go set, bounce, through and happy. One gauze. One stellar road. One scapegoat. Obviously, it's good because it gets you the tokens and they can store for a bit longer. Uh, two swords of revealing light. And three marshmallow. Obviously, so if you're going for these, you've got your free marshmallows for burn, and you get your free lava goblins for burn. So you have got your free other wing conditions, so you can use these. Thanks, Jedek. One baby dragon. And then, obviously, Genosaurus. Levia. Giga Brilliant. Galaxy Queen. Levia, and two Zermains. And I think two Zermains because of the marshmallows. I believe that's about it, really. Um, so, you know, give us your thoughts. Is this version any good? Would you preferably run, you know, the Gerald Pro Winston version? You know, I'm not dissing his version. His version works for him. This version works for me. I feel that this one is better, uh, in my personal opinion. It has more utility, and I prefer the monster ones rather than the heavy reliance on spells and traps, which is a problem when you've got I mean, obviously, you can side in torrentials and stuff, which is not a bad thing, but you know, obviously, with Shion's, Beasts, and Barkions, you know, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of those, which are easily can hold a ship for 12 turns at least. So, you know, it depends. It swings and roundabouts how you see it. So, that's up to you. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying his version is bad. This is just the version I prefer to play. Obviously, he's gone to Worlds of it. I didn't, so... You know, this is... Because, you know, he played that for Exodia. Uh, he can obviously use the same format for his Exodia build to Final Countdown. But I personally prefer Final Countdown rather than Exodia. Because Final Countdown's a win condition in its own right, and I just find that with Exodia build, it's hard to keep a hand advantage, especially for things like card destruction. It you, doesn't bother you in this build at all. So, that's my personal opinion on everything. Um, yeah, let us know. I do actually have the deck. I can actually run it, so I may be taking it to Wish Sheffield. I'm not too sure. I was debating that or Blackwing, so. Sorry, Concave's over not. Let us know what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe.